Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video tutorial we are going to learn about caret listener in Java. So what is a caret listener? A caret listener is the listener that listen to the cursor. We are in uh, programming language we call this cursor as caret. So we will learn about that. So for that I will come to this project and uh, create a new uh, java file and uh, I'll name this caret listener demo and I'll click finish to create this project this uh, file so the file is created now we will create the um, uh, constructor of this uh, class so public caret control space listener demo and now I'll put uh, curly braces now we will uh, copy the code from our previous demo and then I will explain it so I'll come to this focus listener and I'll copy this code from here this declaration part control C this and I'll come here and uh, I'll control V it here now the next thing we will do I'll click OK to import all these uh, things and now I'll come here to again to this file and uh, I'll copy this control C this and now I'll go to this and now I'll control V it here so I'll control V it here now I'll remove this line of code so now this line of code is removed now let me explain this code so here we are uh, declaring a jframe here we are declaring a container now here we are declaring a jtx field and here we are declaring a jtx area now here we are creating the object of the frame then we are uh, using the default close operation so when um, we are telling it here that when we exit when we close the J frame then exert it completely now here we are uh, setting the bounds so we uh, are telling this uh, J frame to take 0 from left 0 from top and uh, give this frame a width of 400 and a height of 400 then here we are assigning the content of this uh, J frame uh, to our container and then we are setting the layout of this container null so now here we are creating a jtx field and then we are setting the bounds of that jtx field we are telling it to uh, make this jtx field uh, 30 from left from this side and 10 from top and then make it uh, width 200 and height of uh, 30 and then we are adding this into our container similarly we are creating a jtx area here and we are giving it uh, the bounds here from uh, left top width and height and then we are adding that into our container and then we are uh, making visible our uh, j frame now if uh, we have to create here the object of this class so I'll create here uh, caret demo uh, caret listener control space demo e demo equals new caret control space listener demo and now we'll put semicolon here now if I run this file now you will see a jtx field and uh, a jtx area on your screen and if I click here or click here nothing happens now we are we will uh, implement the uh, caret listener so for that I will go to top so I'll come here and uh, I'll make some space and implements here caret and control space caret listener this one now it will ask me to implement the abstract methods 
so i'll click on this implement all abstract methods now it will implement only one method which is this uh, carrot update but nothing will happen if we do not add uh, the carrot listener to our jtx field so i'll come here and i will use uh, uh, j field dot uh, add carrot listener and i will pass in this and now we have added uh, the carrot listener to our jtx field now i'll come here and we will uh, when the carrot update we will add something into our uh, text area so area dot uh, set uh, text and here i will pass in uh, carrot updated and now i'll run this code now if i run this file and now if i write something here you can see only one time this carrot is uh, shown here because it is not getting uh, this value from or uh, text area and uh, showing it on a new line so we will go here i'll close this and here so now here we will write the code uh, area dot get text and now i'll use a plus and uh, double quotes and then double quotes and then double quotes and now i'll use plus here and here i will use a backslash and for new line so now if we run this file so now the file is running so if i add something a carrot updated now if i add another thing so uh, carrot updated c d e f so for every entry the carrot will update now if i backspace this the carrot will also update on backspace now let me run it again to show you the carrot updation on backspace so run and now if i enter a b c d and now if I backspace, here it is updating. So I think that's all for today. I hope you like the video. If you like the video, please like, subscribe and comment. Thank you.